Hello everybody, today I'll be showing you um, an insecure direct object reference uh, proof of concept. Now a lot of you guys have asked me to show you this on a real website, on a real bug bounty hunt. Uh, there are a lot of legal issues why I can't show you this because these are live products I'm hunting and of course uh, I just cannot show you real vulnerabilities in real life that still haven't been fixed and upload them to YouTube publicly or even privately. These uh, programs are all doing responsible disclosure. It's beautiful that they are doing this so we cannot scare them away by doing this kind of irresponsible stuff. Uh, you guys are good hackers but a lot of hackers can uh, hack that kind of stuff. So um, I already created an account for this uh, juice shop. Uh, I installed the juice shop via docker it's just two simple commands when you have installed docker, I'll put them in the description. For now I'm going to log into my test account. Um, and when I do, <coughs> I'm going to go to my basket and see that it's empty. And uh, now I'm going to add something to my basket. So add my basket. And when I go and view my basket, I can see in my network tab. I'm going to go here again. Refresh my page. I can see a few calls being made here. Now when I examine these calls, I can see that there's an identifier. Uh, that there's an identifier in here. So for example, uh, if I go to the reply that I got from this, this is what I found in my basket. I have apple pomace in here. The price is 0 0.98 cents. Um, this is all fine and good. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to log out. And I'm going to repeat this call. So I'm not even going to change anything. I want to repeat this call. You can see that my cookies... Ooh, well, my token is still the same. What I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to um, change some uh, data here. So for example, my cookie... Continue here my token this is pretty much telling me I'm logged in I'm just going to delete my whole token from this request and I'm going to send it again actually let's just delete a whole cookie now what I'm doing for you guys is live this is something um, this is something I haven't really done before so I can see a couple of things right here. I can see a 401. So when I go to my reply, I get no authorization header was found. This is a pretty good message because it tells me I need an authorization header. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new account because it's telling me I need an authorization header. It's not telling me what authorization header I need. So I'm just going to try someone else's authorization header. Uh, what I'm going to do is create an account here for test one two three four at test one and use the password test one two three security question fill that in and register my account. And when I register my account, I can log in to test one two three four at test one and go to test one two three as my password. Log in. Um, now what I'm going to do is go back to this call right here and I'm going to send it again. Uh, I'm going to edit it and send it again. But what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to replace my cookies right here. So what I'm going to do is open my basket for this. Uh, so in my request that I just made, I opened my basket and I can see that I got the identifier of 11. What I'm going to do is edit my request and uh, try to get the basket of my previous user. And when I try to do that, voila, successful. This is not good because this is an insecure direct object reference. Now I'm going to see if there are more things I can try. So let's see if I can go to my addresses and add a new address so I'm going to type in country Belgium name test uh, mobile number I'm just going to provide something in here and zip code same thing address same thing city 
just random data to fill this in. So what I'm going to do now is um, edit this uh, address and I can see that when I uh, change some data in here and I submit that I uh, make a put request to address on identifier number 7. You can see that here. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to log out on this account and I'm going to log out log in on the other account I created. So test123 at swe test123 log in. Now what I'm going to do is look for this request again. Uh, what I'm going to I'm going to have to have the authentication headers of this user again. So what I'm going to do is go to add an address over here. Um, again just random mumbo jumbo in here. Uh, not correct. Voila address city state I'm going to create a new address so I did that I'm going to the edit page add some random mumbo jumbo and I'm going to edit my request and I'm going to do this for number seven and now I have my headers in here for this user and when I see the country here I'm going to change that to test country full name you've been hacked and I'm going to send this to the server now I get a 400 no reply I'm going to see what that means on the other user if something changed I don't think so because on my put here I sh should have gotten a success reply so this is not vulnerable to insecure direct object reference what I can do is I have my get here so I'm going to um, edit this request and see if I can get the address data I can't put it I cannot get it either apparently malicious activity detected so as you can see this is good now I can see a delete button in here as well so what I can do as well is I can change my method to delete from that address and again malicious activity detected that's very good. All right, um, this is pretty much my uh, tutorial on insecure direct object references. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, I hope you have a nice night. Leave a comment if you have any more questions and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Bye.